If you're watching this, I'm dead. Still flourishes in Gotham, lurking in every shadow. You don't need that mask. I know it's you, Rachel Ghoul. You allowed this blasphemy, this sacrilege. Did you think you could keep it from me? Parlor tricks will not save Gotham from his reckoning. Not now.
will be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them. One by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. criminals to realize that Batman is gone. You can't count on the GCPD. They haven't trusted us since Jim died. You are clear to engage. I'm leaving you the Belfry as a base of operations. Some of the technology is outdated, but it has the gear you need and all of my files. Many of you knew Bruce from Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. And... He was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice 
and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. Alfred. What you'd expect. Took him three years to agree to a vacation and Bruce turned up dead. He asked for some time. He knows none of us were there either, right? What about you? You let Jacob Kane give the eulogy. He offered. He thought it'd be easier on us if he was the one to do it. He's Bruce's uncle. Hell of a speech. All that talk about a protector, who works behind the scenes. If he only knew. Catherine wouldn't be there if she suspected. I can't see the anti-vigilante police commissioner presiding at Batman's funeral. Here's something else she doesn't know. She has the body of Batman's killer in her morgue. Rachel Ghoul is listed as a John Doe, slated for cremation. And what if the League of Shadows finds him? If they drop their dear leader in a Lazarus pit, he won't be so dead anymore. You want to break into the GCPD headquarters for a what if? Be my guest. I decrypted the case Batman sent with his message. We should focus on that. I looked it over, but did I get everything? It doesn't look complete. I think Raish interrupted him while he was writing. He says this has implications that could shake Gotham to its core. Ominous, but not exactly helpful. I saw a few places we should poke around. Construction sites and quarry. He also mentioned a Dr. Langstrom. Anyone know him? He's a zoologist at Gotham University. Not sure what his connection is, though. Let's divide up the work. We can meet at the Belfry when we're done. Get it up and running. Who gets to talk to Langstrom? Barbara Gordon, Batgirl. Expert hacker, tough as nails, single target bruiser. Dick Grayson, Nightwing. Gifted acrobat, rapid combos, Eskimo stick expert. Tim Drake, Robin. Stealth specialist, technical genius, old staff prodigy. Jason Todd, Red Hood. Boot strength, powerhouse brawler, master marksman. I'm gonna go with Barbara Gordon, Batgirl. Oh yeah, I confirm.
arrived at Gotham U. What do we know so far about this professor? Kirk Langstrom. Batman attached a half-finished file to his code black. Langstrom must have been mixed up in something bad. Then I'll pick up where Batman left off. Let's go! on this faculty dude, Kirk Langstrom. Right. I'll call it in on the way to the morgue. Langstrom's dead. Do we know where his office is? Langstrom's dead? Oh, hold on. Just checking GU's website. Uh, here we go. His office is on the third floor in Molten Hall. Got it. Third floor balconies open. Don't mind if I do. Here's his office. Hmm, hardly any police work here. Langstrom must have been killed somewhere else. Those marks look fresh. Follow the markers. You find anything, Batgirl? So far, nothing here. Our professor is very dead. I'll let you know when I find the crime scene. Good. Well, not good exactly, but at least a lead. The real challenge will be getting out of here without the cops finding me. Good luck. Ah, uh, thanks. That's a lot of damage. This must be where Langstrom died. The cops cleared out of here way too fast. Langstrom must have been working when he was attacked. Significant blood loss here. Evidence of a struggle, then the attacker pinned him to the wall. They were merciless. Langstrom was dying. But he tried to get to that cabinet instead of the door. What was so important? A hidden door. What secrets were you keeping, Dr. Langstrom? Investigator Batgirl on the job. Find a way to... A thermostat would be a clever place to hide a keypad. A microwave. I hope Langstrom wasn't combining burritos with genetic specimens. Yeah, that would be nasty. Langstrom might have programmed his tablet to open the door. A phone number, but that's not a Gotham area code. Could be useful. Three numbers, the microwave is... If they have new for three digits. It could be this. Perfect. Time to see what Langstrom was so desperate to hide. She just dig a Reggie. <laughs> Yo. 
Okay, but that's how you went. All right. Langstrom, what on earth were you up to? Batman's dead professor had some serious skeletons in his closet. What are these? Langstrom's workstation. I should take a closer look. Organic material collected from various animals. Well, hello there. A hard drive. I need to get this back to Belfry. Then I can figure out your secrets, Langstrom. Hey, on my way back. The cops overlooked a ton of evidence. Weird marks on the walls, and apparently Langstrom had a secret lab. Hopefully this hard drive I found will have more answers. Sounds good. See you back here soon. Great. You have company. needs to see that someone still cares. I'll take care of this. I can't focus on torch in this place with all that racket. Turn off the damn fire alarm up there. Down you go. I need to handle these guys before this gets any worse. Fire alarm. Die, die, die. <laughs> Quietly. The average temperature when something lights on fire is between 424 and 475 Fahrenheit. Smart girl. Stay out of sight here. Are the fumes getting to you, buddy? you go <laughs> smashy smashy smash smash smashy uh, gotcha. shut, uh, shut it up you burn now grass no one will mow you ever again uh, <laughs> Like taking candy from a baby. What are they even doing here? <laughs> huh? Enjoying the fireworks. <laughs> this is terrible. 
terrible. It could bring the whole building down. How y'all? Good. You were unbelievable. Scared of you. Get ready to get your ass. You're dead. Here we go. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> nice. to kicking back and decrypting this hard drive. Be there soon. I can call the bat cycle. I never know we get that they, they would give no use for the um range attack on a bike. Papa Willy. Are you talking to me or you got a curve on your in custody? Don't know, but I'm gone.
Out of the way, copper. Copter. Copter. I'm not running. I'm riding. Good job finding that drive in Langstrom's lab. Do we have any idea of what killed Langstrom yet? Hard to say much until these computers are up and running. Or we can examine the body, but for what it's worth, my gut says we're dealing with a who, not a what. Well, that makes me feel slightly better, I guess. Once we can get at the data, we can figure out what our next move is. I'm going out. I'm not gonna sit and wait for... ...whatever this shit is. We're waiting for intel, Jason. Once we have it, then we'll go. <sighs> move. I'm gonna solve this case my way. He wanted us to work this together. Whatever. That's making this harder than it has to be, kid. I guess, since we're waiting anyway, we might as well take another look at what Bruce had on Langstrom. Crap. That must have been the secondary breaker. The primary went out months ago. I thought the backup would hold. I got it. No need. I've put in a small fix that should hold for a while. Wasn't sure you were coming, Alfred. I'll always be here when you need me, Master Richard. When any of you need me. I'm glad you're here. As am I, Master Tim. This place does need work. Damn it. We've got activity all over the city. Sweet. Looks like my plan wins. Hold up. We still need the intel. And Alfred can't exactly set this place up alone. Indeed, Miss Gordon. I have a list of supplies we'll need. I could do it on my own, but... It would be faster if I had help. You can count on us, Alfred. We'll divvy it up. Let's finish what Bruce started. You don't think the Freaks had anything to do with the murder, do you? The Freaks have no qualms about killing people. Still, this isn't their M.O. I doubt it was them. Great. So that just narrows it down to every other criminal in Gotham. Exactly. Pretty much. That drive will take a while to decrypt. Any luck with the construction site? Negative. It was obviously shut down in a hurry, but no real clues as to why. 
Definitely nothing connecting it to this guy Langstrom. If only Bruce had had the chance to tell us what he was working on. This case? It's like reading a book with half the pages missing. If anyone can figure it out, it's you, Babs. This is a tough one. Even for Oracle. I wasn't talking about Oracle or Batgirl. I was talking about Barbara freaking Gordon. You've got this. And I've got your back every step of the way. Thanks, Dick. We'll figure this out. All of us. Okay, gamers. That's it for this video. And I'll see you the next one. Till then, game hard. Seems strange, doesn't it, that Dr. Langstrom would keep such important research on a single external drive? Cloud storage is notoriously easy to hack. Whatever's on that drive, Langstrom did not want people to know about it. Fortunately, he wasn't counting on your technological prowess, Ms. Gordon. Game hard, game often, game forever. Peace.